Bienvenidos una vez más a Beatlemania XL. El público remoto está encendido. Our crowd, our remote crowd is on fire today. <laughs> Welcome back to Beatlemania XL. This is the Jukebox Beatles. And we're so glad to be back. Another week, another show. This is episode number 30. We oh, have more oh. We have wow. more episodes than Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars has wow. That's good practice. <laughs> Good practice. Good to be back. Thank you for joining us every Tuesday. You know, for those of you just joining in for the first time, we're the Jukebox Beatles. We're a tribute band, a Beatles tribute band from Puerto Rico. Every Tuesday, we get together, five o'clock. We talk about the Beatles and uh, we talk among each other, but we talk with you. And that's what's important because you are there. Así que si estás viendo por primera vez este programa, somos the Jukebox Beatles. Una banda tributo de Puerto Rico. Estamos bien contentos de estar aquí todos los martes. Nos reunimos a hablar de los Beatles y hablamos de lo último que pasa, de lo que ha pasado y lo que va a pasar con el mundo de los Beatles. Guys, welcome back. That's right. Hello, everybody. I am Marle Mar Mendez from the Jukebox Beatles, and I'm here to talk about every little magic moment in the Beatles history and sometimes the truth is rough and I am not gonna sugarcoat the truth either <laughs> I am not yes. I am not Willy Wonka <laughs> that was awesome yeah, yeah, yes. hello everybody we have Revenge of the Beat episode Terry so <laughs> we're having fun here always talking to the Beatles talking to you fans and just you know enjoying the best music ever made the music of the Beatles Yes, right yeah. on. We're yeah. not afraid to do it. Oh, we're exactly. not. Good to be back, guys. Good to be back for another week. So happy to be here uh, again, even if it's, you know, keeping the social distance. But, uh, you know, let's get our beetle on. Let's get our, you know, our, our fruit salad of mixture of beetles and, and rock and roll music. Let's get it on for tonight. <laughs> Yes, yeah. let's get it All on. Right. <laughs> let's get it on. Yeah, yeah. We want to thank you guys for being here with us every Tuesday. Estamos más o menos promediando 300 mil personas, 400 mil personas por show que nos están viendo a través del mundo entero. México, Argentina, USA, England. I mean, a lot of people from all over the world watching the show. So thank you very much for your support. Yes. Coronavirus, man, is still still going on even though in puerto rico things are getting more flexible you can go to the beach you can go to restaurants uh you know there it's talk that you know in a couple of weeks you know we're gonna have you know bars open you know but yeah we you know we're still fighting we're still riding it coronavirus yeah, man exactly it's being stressful but sometimes i think to myself hey man stress less and enjoy enjoy life you know sometimes i i get out there and and go for a walk go for a beach live a little uh, with a, with the with this free time that i've been having but now i've been having more work because the lockdown is loosening up so the work is like piling up on me uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> including the jukebox work which is great we got more stuff yeah yeah we got oh. some pretty cool stuff coming on yeah mm -hmm. yes nice. and you know so what you i just I just heard this thing, you know, it's, I don't know if it's a rumor, no sé si es un rumor o qué es lo que está pasando, if this is real, I don't know, but I've heard that, you know, they want to change the name of Penny Lane, you know, that oh, famous man. street in Liverpool, they want to change it because it might, it might be related to slavery, I don't know, oh, escuché esta noticia, yeah. no sé si esto es cierto, no sé si eso es verdad, pero quieren cambiar el nombre de la calle Penny Lane, porque supuestamente tiene un antepasado que tiene que ver con la esclavitud y como estamos con toda esta cuestión de la igualdad racial ahora mismo, I don't know, man, I don't know, I don't know about well, this. It was, uh, yeah, it, it was vandalized, all the Penny Lane signs in oh, Liverpool. Man, come on. The, the thing is, apparently, I mean, there's an allegation that there was a guy named James Penny, that it was named after him, but he was a, a famous slave trader back in Liverpool. Oh, okay. okay. But, uh there are some people that say that that is not confirmed and that is called penny lane because you have to pay a penny to cross the street oh uh, okay. some, some people even go as far as to say that james penny name is spelled 
P-E-N-N-E-Y. So it's not penny like like a penny, like penny lane. So you know they they are I mean I understand that uh people want to uh break away with anything that has to do with slavery. But you know, for Beatles fans it will really suck to you know to to go there and not have uh you know the name Penny Lane on the street for you know because of the song and for me it was magical to go to that street and watch you know see the roundabout the barber shop that's still there so you know if they call it something else it would be like uh you know like i mean i would understand if there's actually a, a slavery connection but as a bit of fan it would be sort of disappointing yeah yeah Ale, que tu wow. Ale, what, oh, yeah. What have, well que tu now, now i know that is that is not true because of francisco fat francisco's facts but if it was true i would support it you know if penny guy was a slave trader like down with the you know i would i would put aside that that <laughs> down, yeah yeah down with penny you know down with penny we, st we have the song who cares yeah uh, <laughs> exactly. Ale, it's kind of sad because i didn't care about the guy i care about the song and uh, for <laughs> me it's, it's it's a beatles history you know yo creo, que, yo creo que todo el mundo ahora mismo antes de que esa persona hubiese despachado verdad que se pasó con spray negro al Penny. Uh -huh. Yo creo que nadie antes sabía que era esa persona si ese tipo no hubiese hecho eso, mano. Yo creo que no hubiese hecho un story, no hubiese creado nada y todo el mundo hubiese pensado que esa es la calle donde Paul McCartney se inspiró y just, you know, he wrote a song about a street and it made it famous. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not against it, but I'm not happy about it. Maybe... Yeah. I know, do a tribute or something. <laughs> yo, 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 yo no sé, yo no sé. Mi, mi opinión al respecto. Ok, si nos vamos a ir en esa ruta, pues entonces, hermano, tenemos que cambiarle el nombre y destruir al 80% de los Estados Unidos, el 80% de Puerto Rico, el 80% oh, de yeah. toda Latinoamérica, el 80%, el 80 de todo este mundo. Yep. Because, I mean, if we're going to go that route, you know, no. that route, I don't know how to pronounce it. You know, we we have to Ooh. shut that route, right? We have yeah. to shut down and change the name of 80% of the United States, of yeah. 80% 80 of Puerto Rico, 80% of Latin America, and all these countries of the New World, because the New World was built upon the blood, sweat, and tears of slaves. You know, yes. yeah. Africans, yeah, exactly. yeah, Native exactly. Indians. You know, the Roman Empire was you know was built you know with slavery. <laughs> it's a good point, <laughs> interesting point, Juan Carlos, it's because it's our exactly. last names, our last names come from either slave traders yeah. or yeah. or is our slave name. We don't know which, but <laughs> we should. The, the, the thing is, everything, everything, I mean, all the, the big empires, like the Roman Empire, the slavery was insane. You know, let's, okay, let's, so let's shut down the Colosseum, you know, let's shut bring down it Rome. down because... <laughs> It was built by slaves and, you know, slaves died at that place. You know, it's, I mean, uh, I'm against slavery. I mean, if, if I'm, I'm with Ali and Arle Mar. If the guy was, uh, you know, a, a jackass, you know, complete jackass, you know, doing the slave thing, to hell with Penny, Mr. Penny, whatever his name it is. Well, you know, yeah, I, care, exactly, yeah. I, I care about the song, but, you know, you know, I don't know. I, I think it's, you know, it's like too much. You know? the, the thing is, uh, uh, you know, uh, the world changes, and uh, I mean, it wasn't that long ago that women could not vote. You know, so in a way, you know, the, the more we live on, I mean, there's still racism, but some things get better. Uh, but history, if we go back, you know, some things that we thought we see as totally wrong now were commonly accepted. So it's part of history. What are you gonna do? Yeah. And yeah. I mean, uh, it's not to celebrate bad people, but you know. It, that is the sad truth of our world, you know, slave, slaves yeah. uh, built a lot we, of it. Yeah, yeah, we just need to follow the Beatles, uh, uh, ¿cómo se llama el consejo? The Beatles uh, word. Advice. You know, advice. Take a sad song and make it better. You know, take this dark chapter in human history, you know, and not, it's not about forgetting it and say, it, okay, you know, that passed, yeah, whatever. No, no, it's learning from that and move on and make the world a better place. Yeah. So if you're going to change the name of Penny Lane, you know, just put Beatles Lane or Paul McCartney yeah, Lane or yeah. something, you exactly. know, McCartney Lane, McCartney, McCartney Lane, Lane, you know, something positive. Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> fixing a whole lane. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> fixing a home. Let's fix, fix fixing a world. <laughs> exactly. Right. There's That's a good. hole. I'm gonna yeah. fix it. That's. Yeah, man. That's, this is all crazy, man. But you know, we stand for human rights, and we stand us as you know, as a band and as human beings, we stand for rights. And you know about the Beatles and vamos a poner un video de una de las presentaciones anteriores. So, Mr. F, thank you for being with us every Tuesday, man. Whenever you get a chance, play the clip. Let's do some rock and roll. Me playing. Get back, COVID-19. Get back, COVID. Get back, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talking about talking about getting back. Volviendo, uh, hablando de getting back. Flaming Pie, el disco de Paul McCartney de 1997, is getting a re-release. Flaming oh, Pie, great. the Paul McCartney's album from 1997. Great album, man. I love it. Flaming Pie has some great songs. You know, it had Jeff Lynne on it. It has... Steve Miller, it had Ringo. I mean, great album, man. I love it. Y ahora viene como que un super deluxe edition, you know, with like five CDs and two DVDs and vinyl wow. records and uh, radio episodes and demos and uh, increíblemente, wow. you know. Wow. This is this is the thing with the Beatles, man. Every year I have to buy the same album, the same <laughs> records. I have to keep For buying them. For 50 years I've been buying the same <laughs> <laughs> buying the same record every it's year, you know, <laughs> the new edition, you know, they had, they had a, you know, a home demo, whatever, you know, an outtake. Oh, shit, I have to buy it again. Uh -huh. You know, I have like five Abbey Roads. I have like, there it is. Look at that. Look oh, at that. man. And oh, it's like, man. yeah, it's expensive. It's like 260 something. I don't know, man. Ooh. You know, it's, uh, you know, could have been a great <laughs> Father's Day present. Are there like cheaper, <laughs> are there cheaper versions like... <laughs> Yeah, 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 they they have like the CD, like <laughs> tienen tienen el CD también, tienen una versión que viene con el disco, el LP en, en vinil. Pero todos los años, mano, tengo que comprar los mismos discos de los Beatles, de Paul McCartney, de Ringo, because siempre hacen un aniversario, siempre hacen un reissue y siempre le añaden una cancioncita ahí como que tal, le añadieron el demo de qué sé yo, Dear Prudence. Ah. Uh, Shit, man, I have to buy the White man. Album again. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Arle, have you heard the record? Can I you have, tell I, me? I have heard the, the, the part of the record. And as you said, it featured a lot of Paul McCartney's friends and family. Because Linda McCartney, it was the last time that Linda sang with Paul before she tragically died of breast cancer. Uh, and and also his son. Uh, what was his son's name? James, uh, James. James McCartney, Penny. please. Penny, so Penny. Penny, uh, Penny, uh, Penny. Uh, James McCartney <laughs> plays uh, lead guitar <laughs> on a song called Heaven on Sunday. Yeah, and, yeah. And yeah, it was a great album, and and it's in the nineties. It was after the Beatles anthology, which was a huge hit. So I I just figure uh, imagine Paul McCartney getting inspired with all the Beatles anthology project, getting all that in, and he said that he he. The Beatles anthology reminded himself of of the treatment that they gave their songs. The Beatles gave their songs, and he used that for the Flaming Pie record. It's a very interesting, uh, it's a very interesting approach, you know, for for Paul McCartney. So, so it's a it's a lot of uh, it has a lot to do with the Beatles anthology. This cool, record, man, cool. Fran, so you, have you heard it? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, it's one of the best, uh, in my opinion, uh, McCartney solo records. Uh, I love the title song Flaming Pie, which comes from a uh, some. I mean, at one point they ask uh, they ask uh, John Lennon where the name Beatles came from, and he said, "Oh, a man came from the sky in a flaming pie," and he said, "You are Beatles with an A," and they said, "Thank you." So, uh, <laughs> Paul, Paul got inspired by that uh, John funny quote, and he wrote a song about it. And you know, all the songs on it are, are pretty good. I mean, there's a uh, I love the world tonight. It was a single. It was a really, I can see the world tonight. Yeah. It's a really cool song. It was produced by Jeff, Jeff Lynne, who had just produced the anthology, and you know he had also done great work with George Harrison and the Will Berries and whatnot. So 
it's a, it's a great sounding record. It has a lot of uh, really good McCartney songs. It's, in my opinion, one of the best uh, Paul McCartney solo records. So I highly, I highly recommend it. Muy bien, muy bien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, pues voy a hacer la nota discordante hoy. Again. <risa> oh, oh. Oh, no venga a decir, no, venga decir que, 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 que estaba, que tuviste el de Tommy Torres y el Fleming Pie y compraste el de Tommy Torres. No puede ser. No, oh, man. No. Bueno, pues, it's not my favorite album. It's oh, not man. my favorite album. Come uh, on, you're I mean, fired. It's a good album, it's a great album, but it's not my, it's not my favorite, it's not my top. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, uh... It's not my tiene favorite su, either, so. Tiene sus canciones, you know, tiene sus canciones que maybe son catchy, you know, like Flaming Pie and all that. Y, pero para mí es more like a sentimental uh, album, you know, este, por, lo de, por lo que se mencionó, ¿verdad? De eh, Linda. Uh, está, you know, está George, Mar está George Martin, está Jeff Emerick, you know, it, it's the whole band back together, kind of. Uh, pero es más like a sentimental feeling for me. Not, it's not like a, oh my god, this album, I'm gonna die for it. Uh, so for me, I, I give it a thumbs up, but I'm I'm not I'm not into claiming you know, by that. Mm. Wow. Well, yo encuentro, sí, estuvo bueno. Yo encuentro que estuvo bueno. Me gusta que que Jeff Lynne le dio un toque sencillo. Le dio un toque. Jeff Lynne's production gave give the album a very simple sound. You know, not not too done, not too overdone or anything, yeah, yeah. which is straight. Uh, and Steve Miller, me encantó que Steve Miller volviera a reunirse con Paul McCartney porque mucha gente no sabe que Steve Miller era un artista de Apple Records. He was hired as a songwriter, Steve Miller, uh, before you know yeah. have the Steve Miller band. And there is a song called My Dark Hour, uh, which uh, Steve, you know, it's a Steve Miller song, but Paul McCartney does the back and vocals. And it's great, man. So it's 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 great to have Paul and Steve get back together and work, you know, in a song in an album. Yo creo que Flaming Pie es un buen disco. Me gusta mucho. Why uh, love? ¿Cómo se llama esa? Young boy, yeah, yeah. young boy, right? Young boy, yeah, young boy. Young boy, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful song. Ringo's in it. I mean, it it sounds it sounds it's a bit like the, it sounds it sounds a bit like you know like something George Harrison would have done. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Tiene ese, ese flow, man. Tiene ese flow así como, y el snare ahí bien pesadito, como el estilo ese de Jeff Lynne, que el snare es bien, bien este, ancho. I don't know, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. yeah. And also, I mean, I... also, George Martin was in the record too. He did the orchestration for a song called The Song We Were Singing. And Ringo has a song in the record that is the first song that's attributed to McCartney Starkey. Did you know that? Yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah, eso es cierto, la primera so, canción, la primera canción que este atribuida a McCartney y, y Starkey, Ringo Starr. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. That's qué awesome. bien, hermano, qué bien, hermano. Yeah, yeah. Oye, quiero aprovechar la ocasión, enviarle un beso gigantesco y un abrazo gigantesco y un super apretón a mi esposa Belinda que cumple años hoy. Happy birthday, my wife, my beautiful wife, happy birthday today. So I love you, baby, with all my heart, and I wish for you the best in life. Yeah. In our life together. So, así que un besito, y después, después que se acabe el show, celebramos y comemos bizcocho y la pasamos bien. All right, so uh, let's play some music. Yeah. All right, Isu, hit the clip. Two, three. Everything. 
God is on fire, man. They love you, Alejandro. Yeah, great it's, job, it's, Ale. <laughs> este público remoto te adora. Yeah. Son tus fans. Yo lo amo. A, a todos. <laughs> Aplausos digitales. Yeah, man, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, we have a show to make. Uh, a little bit All of right. history, un poquito de historia. <laughs> the Beatles estuvieron un día como hoy, this very same day. They were doing a show in Melbourne, Australia, 1964. And I have the record here to prove it. Oh, wow. man. Oh. And it's sealed. <laughs> so, wow, never, never saw that. that. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Estos son los Beatles, donde está un disco de entrevista. Los Beatles cuando fueron a Australia en 1964. Este, mano, rompieron récords allí, increíble. Más gente fue a ver a los Beatles que salieron a las calles a recibirlo que cuando fue la reina, Queen Elizabeth. More people went out to see the Beatles, you know, when they arrived in Australia. Uh, that, you know, that Queen Elizabeth, when she paid the visit to Australia, you know, a couple of, uh, you know, Some, some time before. So the Beatles, man, were incredible. This is the height of Beatlemania. The Beatles yeah. ya habían conquistado Estados Unidos. They went to the United States and they killed it. They, you know, Beatlemania was running wild. You know, every country, you know, every country in the world, you know, was basically, you know, a, 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 a ¿cómo se llama? Preso de la Beatlemania. And so oh, yeah. Australia, así que Australia fue una parte de la primera gira mundial de los Beatles. This is the Beatles' first world tour. They played Hong Kong, they played Denmark, they played uh, Australia. Then after that, they were going to go to the United States. I mean, Beatlemania, 1964, this is it. The way it happened, man. Exactly. This is when they had already visited the United States in February. So now we're in June, 1964, and they are going to the, to the other side of the world, where Asia, Europe, And Australia, so Australia is a uh, comprises. It's called the Australasian region. Comprises of Australia, New Zealand, and islands. Some islands, and they visited a couple of places. One called Adelaide. They played Adelaide. Then they played in Melbourne. Then they went to Sydney. Then they went to New Zealand. And John Lennon visited like a family of his that live in New Zealand. And there's some pictures. John in New Zealand, 1964, with his. I don't know if it was Cousins or something, but they played in New Zealand, Wellington, Auckland, Dundin, and Christchurch. And then they went back to Australia to play the last one in Brisbane. Wow, Brisbane, mm -hmm. man. Oh, yeah, speaking about Australia and speaking about Melbourne, we're going to say hi to Plastic, our good friend Plastic, oh, yeah. EP from Melbourne. Plastic, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hello, Plastic. We did an hey. interview with him, you know, for, for his, you know, his uh, internet uh, interviews. And uh, what, a, what a character, man. We were talking about kangaroos and boxing kangaroos and talking about <laughs> Skippy and all kinds of boomerangs and all kinds of, you know, Australian. Giant spiders and stuff. <laughs> so, Plastic, you know, if you're watching the show, man, it was great talking to you and great meeting you. Cheers, yeah. mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Put a shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, you know, Uh, on that tour, Ringo was sick. I mean, he had to get his tonsils got out. Uh, so the Beatles uh, management, basically, Brian Epstein and George Martin, they decided that they could not cancel the show. And they wanted to bring in a, you know, a substitute drummer. George and, uh, John and Paul were okay with that. But George was not, you know, he said, well, if, if you bring somebody else, I'm not going to play, you know. Because well, he was very loyal to Ringo, but eventually they convinced him to uh, to play, and they got this guy in the picture. He's called Jimmy Nichols. Uh, George Martin knew him from a session, and he already had played on a. They used to make like cheap versions of uh, Beatles songs uh, for crash strap teenagers. Uh, so he had uh, recorded an album of Beatles songs, so he was familiar with the material also. So you know they, they talked to him like. 24, I mean, like 48 hours before the, the first show. And they had a little re rehearsal, and, you know, he did it. And oh. there's some funny stuff, uh, you know. They say, the Beatles say that he was always looking at the girls, that they were sometimes going, one, two, and nothing happened. 
one, two. Uh, you know, and, and the guy was like looking at all the girls and whatnot. <laughs> and there, there's also some uh, more uh, saucy or racy <laughs> stories that, you know, he hung out with uh, with John at certain uh, places of... Uh, touristic lady, attractions. Touristic <laughs> attractions of ladies with little clothing and whatnot. And, uh, you know, it, after that, you know, it, he lasted for about a week, I think it was. Then Ringo came back in. Ringo felt a little sad and betrayed. Oh, he doesn't love me anymore oh, or something. Okay, okay. But, you know, uh, they, they gave him like a like a gold watch, like for service. Like, you know, for, yeah, his, for your service. Thank you very much. <laughs> and after that, uh, he went bankrupt the next year. I guess he spent all the bill of money. Uh <laughs> Then later he joined a, a Swedish group, surf music group that was pretty successful. Then he became a businessman, and he, for some reason, he's never wanted to talk about that time with the Beatles. He's never wanted to cash in. Like, I mean, almost everybody that has any ties to the Beatles has written a book or done interviews or you know done something about it. But he's one of the few persons, and he's still alive. He's about he's 80 years old, and he's rumored to be living in Mexico. And nobody really knows where he is, but you know he's never catch in on his uh, brush with fame with the Beatles. Oh, okay, o sea, o sea que cuando los Beatles fueron de gira a Australia, no, Ringo no fue. Ringo estaba enfermo, le, te, le tuvieron que sacar las amígdalas y buscar a un tipo, o sea, un sustituto, un baterista sustituto que se llama Jimmy Nichols, que fue el que sustituyó a Ringo en la gira de Australia. Yep. Okay. Fun, fun, un fun fact, un, un, un este. Un reportero le preguntó a John Lennon que por qué no habían llamado a Pete Best. Oh, y entonces, wow. y entonces este, John le contestó, oh, porque pues, se hubiese sentido mal, quizás hubiese pensado que íbamos a, a traerlo de vuelta o algo, y qué sé yo. <risa> él la batió bien. We didn't want to give him false hope. <risa> sí, exacto. <risa> ok, entonces, entonces este, Jimmy Nichols, después de eso, después que terminó con los virus, que hizo su gira, su show, le pagaron, le dieron un reloj. Gracias, este, Jimmy. ¿Qué pasó? Él siguió tocando, este, se hizo famoso. Hizo, ¿qué, qué, ¿Qué pasó con la vida de él, de él después de eso? Frank, ¿estás there? Oh, ¿Alguien oh. se acuerda de lo que dijo Frank? ¿Lo puedo traducir? Sí, se fue a una banda, <risa> se fue una banda que era eh, de surf. Ahora no me acuerdo el nombre, surf algo. Y ahora se rumora que está viviendo en México. So, así, de, así de escondido está, que no saben ni, ni dónde vive. Y oh. ah, nadie sabe dónde está. No quiso, y no quiso más de, eh, mencionar esa parte de su historia de los Beatles. So. Sí. Wow, o sea que, que prácticamente... Frank, ¿estás ahí otra vez? Ok. Aquí volví, es que me quedé sin caña. Está, acá estamos, back, hablando, eh, estamos hablando de lo que habías dicho de Jimmy Nichols, lo estábamos diciendo en español para las personas que ¿verdad? de Latinoamérica que, que tú sabes, no entiende mucho el, el inglés, pero interesante la historia de Jimmy Nichols como no por el hecho de tú tocar con los Beatles significa que vas a tener fama mundial y que ya tocaste con los Beatles y te ranqueaste yes, y vas a ser por ahí, tú sabes, el super drummer. Jimmy Nichols, tú sabes, no tuvo mucha suerte después que hizo ese trabajo con los Beatles. Yes, eh, digo, llegó a tocar con un grupo de, de Suecia que, que pegó bastante música surf, pero se cansó de eso y prefirió este dedicarse a los negocios y ahí le fue mejor. Y realmente no, claro. después de eso, pues nunca, nunca trató de aprovechar su ese enlace con los Beatles como para sacar dinero como ha hecho otra gente, casi hasta el cocinero de los Beatles en algún momento escribió un libro sí. el, chof el chofer el chofer de... y una estrella, pero él no, él, él se mantuvo en el anonimato, no ha buscado para que hable nunca, nunca ha querido hablar mucho sobre eso qué bien, qué bien mano. Qué bien. No, tampoco creo que le hayan pagado mucho porque conociendo a Brian Epstein es, esos tipos eran bien duros y, y si Paul McCartney estaba en el, en el lado económico de los Beatles Paul McCartney es medio sí Duro, de codo, no creo de que la, eh, lo más probable le pagaron el, el mínimo federal. Oh, man, that's bad. <laughs> man, that, what an interesting, interesting story, you know, about, you know, the Beatles in Australia. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, after the Beatles broke up, I don't know what happened. Did anybody, anybody of the Beatles came back to Australia? Yes, yes. Actually, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with uh, Ringo first. Uh, Ringo, uh, Ringo took him 49 years come back to Australia wow. 49 years <laughs> I don't oh, know what 49 wow. years are yet <laughs> so, I know <laughs> I'm almost there 
Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know what it what it feels like. <laughs> so, so, Mano, 49 it's, años, 2013. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a long, long time. The so 64 it's... hasta el 2013. So, wow. in the 2013, he came back, right, uh, with the All Star Band. You know, it's a it's a really it's a really cool concert. Uh, cause uh, the fun the fun thing about uh, Ringo's concerts, it, it, you know, you get to see a Beatle, but you get to see his friends. And uh, you know, it's Ringo Starr, you know, it's Beatles. But you get a Steve from, you know, uh, Toto. Uh, you get a uh, Greg from Journey, you know, Ed Santana. Uh, Richard Page, the Mr. Mister. You know, it's, oh. a, it's, it's, it's a really awesome show to, to watch. And, uh, you know, he did, I, I, I think it was five shows. He did five shows in Australia, and that was it. And, and that was it. He, he, uh, that was uh, five years ago, seven years ago, <laughs> seven, seven years ago. Yeah, eres excelente matemática. No, horrible. Por eso es que tengo los teléfonos, calculador ahí. Pero, pero then, you know, with, uh, Wings, you know, vamos a hacer, si, eh, si vamos a hablar de After Beatles, we have to talk about Wings. And, uh, you know, Wings, uh, he, they, they went to Australia in 1979. You know, they did the Wings Over the World concert, you know, and, uh, And you know, it, you know, it was a televised do, uh, do, documentary film, and it was it was all great. But uh, they did, I think it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shows. They did eight shows in Australia, and uh, you know, they they did uh, Perth, Adelaide, Ad, Adelaide. Adelaide. I, I don't know how. Yeah, that. Adelaide. Sydney. So, they don't did, worry we, about it, man. Don't worry. We're not Australians. Don't worry okay, about it. Just okay. say whatever, you know. I don't well, maybe know. Plastic is watching, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe Plastic is watching, yeah. So, you know, they, they did Brisbane and Melbourne, you know, and it was, and that that was an awesome concert, too. And if you and if you, if you haven't watched that concert, you should watch that concert. Really amazing show. Yeah. Uh, then then Paul McCartney, as a solo artist, he came, he came back, too. Uh, he did a concert in uh, 1993. He did the uh, the New World Tour. Yeah. And uh, that was, you know, that was his third time visiting Australia now. Wow. And, uh, so that was that was pretty that was pretty hectic, you know. And uh, you know that that show was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shows. He did nine shows. So wow. each time they're doing. You know, he's, he's doing a step up just like Paul McCartney does every single time. Yeah. Uh, I think Australia, Australia is a city grandísimo, man. Grandísimo. Yeah, yeah. Yo, esa gira de Paul McCartney de 1993 fue para un disco que se llama Off the Ground. Yeah. Que él hizo, él hizo el comeback con Flowers in the Dirt, que fue el disco que lo puso otra vez como que en el mapa. Y después tiró ese disco Off the Ground, que fue el show que tú estás hablando de cuando él fue a Australia. Yes, yes. So, había un show después de ese, que era en el 2002, but it was canceled. It was oh, canceled because, okay. you know, uh, the, the Bali bombing. If, if you haven't heard uh, oh, about yeah, yeah, Bali yeah. bombing, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. terrible, terrible thing. I mean, like, 400 people got hurt, in, including, like, 300 deaths. It was, it was oh, you know, man, it was a terrible sad, thing. Sad. So, he okay, canceled that, that concert. Uh... But then he did the one-on-one -on -one tour, which which it was 2017. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So far, recent. That was that was three years ago. How long ago? Yeah. yeah. Was, so oh, man. ayer hizo ayer hizo un dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete shows, incluyendo go New Zealand. Uh, okay. Yeah. Which you know we all know we all know that you know 2017 fall is still as good as 1993. And you know every other poll we have seen in Australia and, and, and any other part of the world. So yeah, Paul yeah. McCartney actually did came back a few times. Ringo only once. So so Ringo, después de los Beatles, Ringo volvió a hacer un show solamente un solo show. No hizo más ninguno. Bueno, hizo ah. un tour, un ah, tour, tour. En, en Australia que fueron cinco shows. Cinco shows, okay. Yeah. Entonces Paul McCartney volvió. En el, ah mira, ah oh, mira qué cool Paul ahí con. Con Koala. Uh, <laughs> eso, fue, eso fue en 1993. Esa es la gira que tú me estabas diciendo, New World Tour. Yes. Y después yes. Paul volvió. Bueno, tenía un show en 2002, pero se canceló porque hubo un bombardeo, un ataque terrorista en Bali. Yes. 
Y entonces volvió en el 2017. 2017, y ahí, y ahí wow, hizo man. siete shows. Wow, solo los Beatles han, han tenido a Australia bien de cerca. Definitivamente, definitivamente. Y yo creo que se lo merecen, you know, porque cada vez que ellos van, they give him the love that he deserves, you know, the, the whole world goes upside down when they go. So yo creo que eh, eh, se merecen todas las visitas que han recibido you know. porque... You know, they earned it. Man, we should go to Australia. We should go to oh, do yeah. a show over there, man. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The only thing that I know about Australia is Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> and Skippy, the bush kangaroo. And the Crocodile Hunter, right? The yeah, Crocodile Hunter. Hunter. Yeah. Watching a giant tortoise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, Steve turtle. Irwin. Steve Irwin, oh, yeah. Steve Irwin yeah. Yo me acuerdo que, soul, que en Finding Nemo esa es la dirección que queda así. Así yeah, madre. Cool, cool. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think it's time for another song. So Feast of Wayne. If I fell. What a great song, man. If I fell in love with you. Yes, John Lennon ahí como que siempre sufrido, mano. Le digo, ah, mira, si yo me enamoro de ti, por favor, no me trates mal. John Lennon siempre Seguro, en sus canciones mano. era como que... El tipo inseguro, man. John was a great songwriter, but he, he was always like insecure, like he was always like suffering in his love songs. Why? Why was that? I don't know. Uh, maybe he's suffering, you know, all the tragedy of life. Maybe he was not the most uh, secure guy in the world. Yeah. Yeah, he said, and, and he used to say that he was kind of uh, depressive. He had a, a depressive personality that sometimes he wanted to jump off a... Uh, a window, he said that like, exactly like really? that. Yeah. John oh. Lennon dijo, wow, man. No, yeah, no he says, um, algunos días yo me dan ganas de tirar, hay días que estoy feliz, otros días como maniático depresivo, algo así. Sí. Para sí. Yo creo oh, que... yeah, oh. Mm -hmm. wow, John Lennon. <laughs> bueno, vamos a, vamos a chequear algunos comentarios del público. Vamos a leer yes. algo de los que nos escriben. We're going to read some uh -huh. of the comments of you guys. Thank you very much for joining in. Every Tuesday, you know, we get together, we talk about the Beatles, and we had a lot of fun reading your comments, you know, and asking your questions, and, you know, and asking you guys questions. So, vamos a leer algo, Arle, ¿qué tienes por ahí? ¿Tienes algo para leer? Vamos a ver, aquí tengo mucha gente diciendo que Alejandro, que canta brutal. Hey! Eh, <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah. Beauty, beautiful. Este, hearing this song reminds me of the movie A Hard Day's Night. Sí, es brutal esa, esa escena. Este, y me da mucha risa Ringo al principio peleando en los drums. Much love from over here in the desert, man. Foster Rafael saying. Yeah! Este, <laughs> Ninoska dice, morir de amor. Gracias, Ninoska. <laughs> Amy Weinstein dice, they sound great. Gracias. Y mi Weinstein, y como que no le puedo dar más para arriba. ¿Qué va a trip? Oye, yo vi que eh, de Cristina said, that's why the Beatles had, you know, they, they have so much money. And I think uh, she's uh, referring to Juan buying all the albums. And yeah. she's totally correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I have like, I tell, I, you know, I have the mono version, I have the stereo version, I have the uh, demo version. I, this is insane, man. This is... You know, uh, I say that I'm in a un beetle maniático incurable. That's what I am, you know. And I don't want to have any therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no rehab. Es <laughs> Como es la oh, canción esa? Psychotherapy. 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 Sabes que de Ramones, el nombre de Ramones, el bajista se llama Didi Ramon. <laughs> él fue que le puso el nombre a la banda de Ramones, pero el nombre era porque él se inspiró en Paul Ramon. Paul Ramon era el nombre artístico de Paul McCartney cuando ellos fueron a, a una gira en Escocia. Cuando uh -huh. ellos empezaron, ellos fueron, ellos fueron a, a una pequeña gira por Escocia to play with a guy called Johnny Gentle. And Paul McCartney's artistic name, you know, ¿cómo se llama? Seudónimo. Yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, like, yeah. His, yes, uh, was Paul Ramon. So, Dee uh -huh. Ramon, the guy from the Ramones, said, my name is going to be Didi Ramon, and the band is going to be called the Ramones. Um, so, oh. you know, it started from there, you know, hey. so, and, and if you look at the, it, and if you look at the Ramones, it's like a punk version of the Beatles, you know, dressed in leather, you know, the hair, 
looks a, a little bit like the Beatles, you know, playing fast music all the time, you know, and, and it, it was it was what the Beatles did in Hamburg and Liverpool before they were famous. Mm -hmm. And John Lennon was a big fan. Uh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Que nos Joana, Joana M. Tartak dice I love the Ramones too Yeah, yeah, the Ramones and uh... Oh man The Ramones, I like the Ramones, you know And it's it's like a Beatles, it's, you know It's like a, you know, we each each guy has Their own personality, you know Johnny and Dee Dee And Marky Ramone and uh, Joey Ramone, you know, each have their own Distinctive personality And the Beatles were just like that, you know. Each of each one of them has their own strong personality, you know. Oh yeah, there. Does anybody here know what was John Lennon's stage name in that in that tour? Because I know Paul Ramone, uh, Carl Harrison, Long John Silver, Long John Silver, oh, Long John, yeah, Long John. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, and, and the Beatles, you know, they joked that. You know, they were always like a step below everybody else. You know, where everybody else had big wild names like Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. You know, uh, <laughs> Wild Bill Fury. You know, and they and they backed up Johnny Gentle. Johnny Gentle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Gentle. Who would have known? Oh, you know, I'm going through your mind, <laughs> man. <laughs> Fury and you know. Johnny Storm, but yeah, they, they backed Johnny Gentle. And they, they backed Johnny Gentle. <laughs> well, but that was the Beatles, man. That was the Beatles, and you know, that's history. Yeah. Así que, nada, que otros comentarios tenemos. Vamos a ver, uh, what's cool about the Ramones? Christina said, uh, yeah, Luis Torres dice Long John Silver. Sí, muy cierto. John Lennon siempre decía que no, 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 yo me quedé con John Lennon. Pero Paul McCartney dice, no, 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 no. Yeah, Él era Long John Silver ahí. <laughs> yeah, man. So, I don't know, why, what, what shall we do? We still have a couple of minutes left. Uh, should we play another video? Yes, man, let's play some music. Let's, let's play some music, music, man. We're here to play some music. Así que Fiso, Mr. F, uh, Fiso Ramon. All right. Yeah, yeah. Tell me why, man. What we, oh, you know what? Estamos tocando casi todas las canciones de 64. Tocamos If I Fell and I Love Her. <laughs> Tell oh, me why. Yeah, right. Como que y hablamos sobre los Beatles en Australia en 1964. Eso creo que el show hoy, hoy es como que 1964. Yeah. Sí, estamos, estamos re, la energía, enérgicamente estamos, estamos, ¿cómo se dice? Info, invocando 1964. Ahora <laughs> yeah, mismo. 1964. What a great song, <laughs> man. Tell me why. Sí, 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 mano. All right, so uh, we still have a couple of uh, minutes left in the show. Uh, we want to say... Uh, Thank you very much for your support, always being with us. It's always a pleasure. It's always an honor. And uh, support your local musicians. You know, they are right now, you know, going through tough times. You know, I'm sure you know somebody, you always say this, you know, somebody, you have a friend, you have a relative, cousin, you know, neighbor who's a musician, who is, you know, it's in the weeds right now, you know. Así que apoyen los músicos locales. Compren su merchandise, compren su música, compren su disco, bajen las canciones por iTunes, download their music, you know, buy their merch, their t-shirts. Uh, by the way, we have a new page, a new merchandising page. It's called uh, jukeboxbeatles.redbubble.com. Así que visitan ahí un montón de cosas bien chévere. Han comprado, muchos de nuestros fans han comprado y han posteado las fotos con, con las t-shirts, con los botones, con los stickers. Tenemos cosas bien chévere, así que visítenla cuando tenga la oportunidad. También, uh, want to say, uh, social media, social media links. Follow us if you're just joining in. We're about to finish the show, but uh, follow us. Make sure you follow us. Our Facebook page, Jukebox Beatles Tribute. Instagram, Jukebox Beatles Tribute. Twitter, there it is. Those are the links. Busquen ese logo. Si, si estás ahora mismo conectándote, ahora mismo estás viendo ya el final del programa. Pero síguenos. Todos los martes nos reunimos aquí a través de X Level Media, en nuestra página de Facebook, Jukebox Beatles Tribute, la página de Twitter, de Jukebox PR, Instagram, Jukebox Beatles Tribute, LinkedIn.com, slash IN, slash The Jukebox. Follow us. Make sure you know you like our like our you know our comments post your pictures post your videos tag us and uh let's have a bit of fun you know before you know we get back to playing live 
exactly. Yeah, yeah man. We agree. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's <laughs> extraordinary. That's, that's brilliant. There you go. There that's you go. brilliant. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. This, Excellent. This is, it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of the show, guys. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias, muchachos, por haber estado con nosotros. Fisu, gracias por tu dirección técnica, dirección, los controles ahí, poniendo las fotos, poniendo, tú sabes, los recuadros. Estamos como la, la carátula del disco Let It Be, las cuatro caras ahí. Así que, thank you very much for joining in. This is it. Beatlemania XL. On X Level Media, episode number 30. We're the Jukebox Beatles. Guys, any final words? Well, oh, uh, thanks everybody. Hey, <laughs> We're here doing what we love. Uh, the, this is the best time of the week for me and hope it was great for you as well so see you all next week next tuesday guys thanks everybody for tuning in uh, we can't wait to get back to playing live and i i know we will play live soon so we'll be seeing you yes uh we had a great time hopefully you guys had a great time too and we'll see you next week we love you all all right Muchas gracias a todos. Nos vemos entonces el próximo martes a las 5 a través de X Level Media, la plataforma de Roku, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Thank you very much for joining in. We'll see you next Tuesday. So let's do a bit of rock and roll. Come on, let's do it. 1964. Come on. Yes.